Tenor Engome for the Knowles, and Souk Matone will jump center. And off we go from Tallahassee. The preseason player of the year in the Patriot League. And a second chance for the Terriers, but Matone, right on cue, turns it over. And Caleb Mills with a chance at a three-point play. That was actually a nice job to disrupt Caleb Mills. He was trying to pick up the ball to throw it down for a layup. Osborne. Here's Ethan Britton Watts, junior from Indianapolis. Zero in the Scarlet. Gets the start today. With Zink and White out. And Souk Matone, the fifth-year senior big man, starts the scoring for BU. Harper made a few big ones last time out for Boston University and a win over Sam Houston State on Monday in Jacksonville. Part of a 4-2 start for the Terriers. Butler gets to the rim. Here's number 60 in our ESPN 100. He is one tall drink of water. McCoy slashes and scores. Harper gives it up to McCoy. BU 0 of 5, like we said, from beyond the arc, but McCoy is smooth oh. in the middle range. Came in averaging 16 a game. Uh, he's a guy who can score. He really attacks the basket, and as you mentioned, he can score in the mid range, he can score from three, he can drive the ball. Very talented player with high upside misses from deep, and the struggles from beyond the arc continue. Wyatt Wilkes, quick release. Florida State at 4-1 with a six-point lead. Eight minutes in against Boston University. The favorites in the Patriot League. We know Florida State can force a ton of turnovers. They do here. And then the Knowles blew a tire. Strong drive to the basket for Damon Tate. Well, what he's saying is, what, what he was telling us is that he's going to play some guys, maybe let them play through mistakes at this point in the season. No mistake. The tone matched up with Quincy Ballard on a kick out, and there's the first three for BU. Mills turns it over. Ethan Britton Watts finishes at the rim, and he's got a chance at three. Mills drills the three. And I think giving up that long three-point shot is what you're left with. Fletcher finishes! He is a vet with presumably the trust from Joe Jones, fifth-year senior out of Milwaukee. Ethan oh. Britton Watts, what a tough shot that is for the junior sniper. Nice oh, good pass by Mills underneath to the weatherman. They get Malcolm Chemezi, the freshman, to the block, but Mills stripped him. And Florida stayed with it by four, wanting more from Cameron Fletcher. Devontae McCoy playing with his two fouls, finds Britton Watts again for three. Only two losses so far, both on the road, at URI and at Northeastern, in a one-point slugfest earlier this year in Boston. Fletcher Tynan, the senior who can do it all. Now that's amazing, but what a recovery by Matone. Fletcher answers. Shot clock winding down on Javante McCoy. Four straight makes for the Terriers, tied at 35. Prieto, no, the follow after the Wilkes miss. Dan Bonner, Mike Monaco back with you. And Florida State back to full strength. Malik Osborne had two fouls in the first half. He only played six minutes, only attempted one shot. Anthony Polite drills a three. And that's, that's exactly the way the game started. First made bucket, the veteran shoot it so well from beyond the arc. Oh, nice hesitation. That's a move McCoy loves, and he scores at the rim.
So a nice job by both of those players to create a basket that was desperately needed. No scores around the six foot ten Matone. Unselfishness offensively. Well, it certainly hasn't worked as smoothly as they would like in there. McCoy falls down. It's another turn of a great pass. And I, that's always the goal of a team coming in at a place like this trying to pull an upset. You try to keep it close and have a chance to win at the end. Both these teams finish it up. Their third game in four days. Been a busy stretch for them after playing in Jacksonville. As Osborne scores on the hook, he's up to a half dozen. And plus, he's got five assists. Done it all against just one turnover. That's a big three from Anthony Morales. Fletcher remains active at a fresh 20. Finish at the rim for Matthew Cleveland. Careful they don't give Florida State a big run here. Cleveland scores two more. Out of our ESPN 100, had 10 points off the bench in the Missouri win on Monday. That's a deep walk. McCoy's got it. Make him eat every two hours and insist that he finish his plates. That's been the recipe there for a couple of years. Second chance for Soup Matone. A brick from Garrett Pasco, the redshirt junior guard, not known for his scoring. Osborne had the size mismatch and he muscles it in over Pasco. Damon Tate blocked at the rim. Matone can't put it back. He's got 11 points, those five assists, and just one turnover. He's brought the defensive energy as well. Tough shot to the baseline. Good catch by Matone. The finish plus the foul. Dribbles the ball and he's surrounded. to the rim he's got a chance at a three-point play shot clock winding down Osborne passes out of the post Fletcher falling away no offensive rebound polite back up for two the uh, season was shut down in the middle of that tournament the Seminoles as the regular season champion we crowned the ACC winners six-point game five and a half to go Cleveland from a similar spot as before he sticks this jumper Fletcher Tynan's got it coming off two very good games in Jacksonville shot clock at five now Harper finds Tynan and it's blocked at the rim by Polite what a play Terrence moved the ball nicely and Polite just goes up and meets Tynan at the rim Tynan it's six feet seven Polite six feet six and Polite does a great job Late shot clock for Florida State now. Good pass. Oh, and the scoop for Cleveland. McCoy scores this time off the glass. Six-point game. And a guy playing 30 minutes is a relatively rare thing for Leonard Hamilton. Suk Matone, 72% from the free throw line, fifth-year senior. And Joe Jones said is probably the most improved player I've ever coached. All defensive team in the Patriot League. And who they expect him to be again this year. He's got a double-double and he's good on both. One and one for the sophomore transfer from Kentucky. And a front-end miss from Cameron Fletcher. McCoy got a switch. A three is good for Javante McCoy. Harper, no, offensive rebound, Morales who is fouled, and Polite misses, no timeouts, BU down by three, Morales for the tie, <laughs> good heavens.
Polite was at the line a long time, and then Morales just takes it and takes it down the court. And he, I mean, that's a shot under some pressure. What aggressive play by Polite. Harper was falling down, had to give it up, and Florida State's got it. Morales blocks the shot, and Cleveland ties the game. Sutherland's trying to turn up the pressure. Tate to the rim! What a game for him. He's got 12, and that's his second dunk. Chance at three for Florida State. Tied at 77 with two minutes to go in overtime. Matol working on. Sets the screen. Polite switches on to him. Then McCoy get it to him. Traveling is called. Wants it back with a mismatch. He's got Matone on him. Mills finds Fletcher and it rolls up. He's got 22. Shot clock at five. Morales couldn't do it again. Final 10 seconds. Florida State down by one. They don't have all day. They gotta shoot. Mills misses. And the putback is there for Matthew Cleveland. And that's Morales with a baseball pass over the top that is picked.